Hey everybody, Garth Brooks here. I'm old school. I like albums, I like liner notes. Here come the liner notes on steroids. Music's inside, here's the anthology live, part three. This is everything we've ever done live from beginning to end. Could not be more proud of this right here. It's a quick story, uh, Central Park. Um, we're walking out, it's a live HBO special. I hear somebody backstage saying, we're going live in three minutes. I'm walking with the guy from the park and he puts a piece of paper in my hand. I said, what's that? He goes, this is the number, no this is the number 90 minutes ago. I open it up and said, are you telling me there's 850,000 people out there? He goes, no, I'm telling you 90 minutes ago there was 850,000 people out there. So all of a sudden it starts to get to me and you can see now I'm really white anyway, but this face is as white as white gets. So now I'm, I'm scared to death. Wathney is underneath there with me. He's a stage guy, he's been there forever. Wathney says, you okay boss? I said, yeah, why? He goes, well, you're whiter than usual. So I was scared to death because I wanted the first time the national or, or, or the television, the, the cameras to see me was the first time I saw them, the people. And I should have peaked because this is the next shot you get coming out. This is the first song coming out of this thing. And there were, you know, I'm, my hometown, 17,000 people. There were 17,000 people in this cluster right here. It's just, it was crazy. So uh, it's just moments like that. What I love about the anthology too, it kind of just tells you kind of um, everything about the spectacle, but what I love is it tells you everything leading up to it and afterward, which you don't get when you get to watch the specials. Um, beautiful, one more thing on Central Park. What I love about these anthologies is to really get the picture of what this thing felt like. They've got these cool little foldouts that, that shows you these uh, right here against the, uh, the New York skyline. It just really kind of puts all into perspective because when you try to figure out, holy cow, what does a million people look like in one place? Uh, there it is. So greatest thing they ever give you in country music is to become a member of the Grand Ole Opry. And uh, this was one of the nights that we got to play there. Pretty cool, it's on a point system that uh, as long as you keep up points, you get to retain your family membership. For us, everything hit so hard and so fast, we were just gone. And so we didn't keep our points up, but they allowed us to be uh, a member uh, for life, which is sweet. Still, when people go, what is the greatest thing that's ever happened to you in country music? Other than going to the Hall of Fame, because that night was pretty cool. I got to say, being a member of the Grand Ole Opry was uh, everything and continues to be everything for me. This was a cool place. This is the old Texas Stadium, Jerry Jones. And uh, what people don't know about Texas Stadium, which they might not know, is if you watch the Dallas Cowboys in the last probably probably two decades of uh, Dallas Cowboys before they moved into AT&T Stadium. They had these two bars that separated everything. These are called the Garth Bars that they put in especially for this show. Because this show, we were gonna do everything from, well, you'll see, we're gonna do everything from fire to, uh, to rain. We're gonna fly, that's, that's pretty much, but there's the, there's the show, but here comes the, here comes the thing. So the rain gets to do its thing, the, uh, the fire, gets to play and it was uh, it was pretty cool. It was probably the most literal concert we've ever done. So when you do standing outside the fire, here comes the fire, thunder rolls, here came the rain. And ain't going down to the sun comes up. Um, the Foy Flyers out of Vegas who fly all the theatrical Peter Pans, pick you up from stage and a hundred yards of just flight across the stadium to the very back row, which was uh, pretty cool. And uh, for all of music at that time, I'm gonna say, especially country music, something that they hadn't seen before. So um, really, really, really proud of this collection. Proud of what went inside of it for everything that it took for what went inside of it to go on, if that makes any sense. So uh, this is probably my most proud piece.